welcome to my channel so today we are continuing with the GTA series and we want to create a winter system so they asking me a lot to do it so now it's time to do it so uh, they want to eat from five stars to zero so that means if we have zero star nobody following us if we have one star if a, a police saw us uh, they can follow us if we have two three and four and five also we want to uh, today we want to create the main part of this uh, coding to be working so they want to uh, make this uh, the start working to put a one two and three and four and five also depend on what you're doing they want to maybe directly go to two or three stars anything like that so that it depend how bad you do in the stuff and um, so we want to do the like i said the main code first so later when we have the the system like uh, uh tra traffic lights um, police thing like that they're gonna do it uh, working together all together so right now we want to do the core thing uh, making this function to be working so let's do that okay so the first thing we have is the star we want to need it um i uh, make this really really fast so it's free for everybody so if you want to this one you can download for the project and you're gonna have this one it's also for commercial purposes so you can use it if you want it but i recommend it to do something better because mine is really really cheap you know so okay so i want to use this because that's fine we, we don't have background so only have the the signs here so they're gonna be perfect for that for the system we want to create so let's do that so we want to put this in our hat because if i don't remember correctly we had to have already good text well depending when we pick it up and also here for the money so we want to modify this a little bit to have here the wanted system uh, or you can put it this side or whatever you like in my case i want to put it right here okay so we, we can do this a lot of different ways so we can uh see always see the stars from the star so for example we have five star here we, we can see it without full uh, or we, we can do it only show when we have one star if we, we have two stars we're gonna show two stars three things like that so that depends how you want it so in my case I wanna show you first how it's gonna look like it this depend on how you want it okay so let's put some picture here so gonna be image so let's get an image I wanna put it right here and uh, we're gonna anchor it always to the um, corner right here, the top corner. And uh, we want to change the image for the image I have. So it's gonna be a star um, image right there. So we have this one. So let's focus a little bit to look better. So how we want to be looking. So maybe it's too big so we can play with this number. So let's put something like uh, 50 by 50 maybe. I think it's fine. So we can put it here. Uh, you can change the name here to be a star uh, one. So we can duplicate if we want. So we can move it and put it right beside. So we can call it this star two. Uh, let's do another one. Uh, let's duplicate more easiest. So let's duplicate. We have another one. It's gonna be three star. So this one, rename this, three, so two more, not that one. So let's duplicate this again. So we have four, so let's put four. So these are gonna be here. And one more, so let's duplicate it put here, start five. Okay, so we have uh, the five we wanted, so it's gonna be like this. So let's put it something like that. They don't need to be exactly. For my case, it's fine for this project. So when you program play, now they're gonna show right there. I don't know if you can see it right away. We have five star. That's empty. We can do it that way. Like I said, they're gonna be. Uh, there is no fill inside. So we want to fill it when is. Uh, we have some stars. But if not, they're gonna be empty. Or we can use hide enough. If you want to hide it, that's really easy. You only need to select. Uh, the image you want and you go all the way down with this visible and you can change this to collapse if you collapse the first one you can see that right away they disappear from the screen so you can make it appear only when you have um, some stars or so, so, so once wanted um, system already activate 
So okay, so let's do this for the other side because I want to see it all the time. So let's put back this to this uh, visible. So let's compile and save. So okay, so now we have this um, the stars. So let's fill it when we, how they're gonna look, feel, and how to fill it. Okay, so I added a new uh, image. It's the same image with the um, full uh, background. So that, that way we have something to fill when it's uh, activated or not. Uh, you can use both or you can use one if you want it like to hide the other ones so that's gonna be it so for right now they're gonna be this so we want to change the image to the new one so let's rename this uh, let's rename it put a star uh, field uh, image for example so that's more easy to find here so we have it right here right away so they're gonna be look like this when they feel so let's go play so you can see they're gonna be we, uh, they can be white if we want or we can tint it if we want it uh, something different so in my case I wanna do it probably I like this color a lot so I wanna use this one so that way uh, they're gonna uh, look right away we had a star so I think that's cool so yes so I'm gonna leave it like this so we can f um, feel this uh, all this for the same color so that way always have that color in everything so let's put it in all then this you don't have to but I like this color so in this one let's change this back to where they belong so let's compile and save okay so we want to bind this stuff uh, we can bind it two different ways we can bind it in here but I really don't like this way but you can do it if you want right right now for just uh, five pictures uh, binding here they don't really uh, that problem but you need to remember it. every time you bind something here they're gonna go all the time when it's deactivate so there's not the best way to do it but I can uh, you can do it if you want but I don't recommend them to do it here so it's better just activate this star when you need it not all the time so okay so let's do that so let's create a graph so we have this from before so let's create a new variable so like i said we can do uh, unreal make the, uh, making this really really how you wanted to do it it's really easy you can do it in different ways to make this stuff so you, you can use booleans you can use float you can use integer you can use whatever you like but in this case i think it's better use integers so let's go to uh, variable so let's create a new um, uh, variable and uh, let's call this uh, wanted uh, level for example and we want to change this to boolean to integer so that way we can have the control we want it okay so right now by default if you compound save they're gonna be always zero so that that means we don't have a, a wanted level so that's awesome so we can create a, gear, a, a function here right here so let's right click put a custom event custom event we can call this uh, uh, wanted level we can call it the same want the level um just want it i think it's fine you can call it like you like so let's call it like here and in this one we want to create a new input in the new input they want to be level or how level we want it and we want to be this that integer so that way they always call from here okay so we want to first set this because we want to update this stuff to the one the level we wanted and depending on this we want to uh, switch and change the image right so we want to do it like switch on int so we want to create the file because all we're going to be five um zero one two three four and five because this time we have five star is zero is nothing so we want to remove uh, default we don't need it so that way it's easy so okay so in this one we want to um, yeah how we can do this so yes we can get the uh, star one so we can get, get star one if we want to put here set brush from texture and uh, we want to chain here um, let's put it here so if we have level one we want to the test of this one be uh, 
uh, start a field. So we want this one. And yes, we want this one. Uh, they're gonna be easiest to start with the other one. Let's start with several. So everyone's gonna be several. So if it's several, we want to do the same thing. So copy and paste. So let's put it here. So if it's zero, we want to this one. Go to the star uh, image uh, empty. Uh, we want to get the star two empty. So we want to copy and paste uh, three, four, five. So that way we have all together. Let's move this. So this here. So two empty. So let's go to three. Uh, star three. Start four. Uh, start four. Empty. That's fine. Start five. Uh, one less. Oops. So let's put the one less. Uh, let's put here the five. Start five here. So that way we have this stuff like this. <laughs> okay. So that that's easy. So if it's zero, everything is back to normal. If it's level one, we want to check this one to fill, but we want the other be the same so the level two we want to do this one again so copy paste so let's put it here and uh, put this one now with the field one so we want to change this to feel probably it's better to copy this one because it's probably the same like this image feel and you want to go this route so we want to do this with all of them. So we want to do this again. So copy and paste. So maybe you can do it different way, but this way you, it's more easy to understand what you're doing. Because it's better to understand first the code, later you can improve it. So let's go like this one. So get start three. So they're gonna be field here. After this field, we don't want to do the four and five empty. If two more more that's it so let's put this like this we want to go to four uh, one more this one you want to take uh, stuff four sorry we got this one so stuff four if this one go to here if finally the last one gonna be copy and paste for the last time I copy uh, now let's do the same so let's copy and paste here and put here uh, the five so whoops five so that way we have this working really really great uh, let's connect the last one to this one so that's it so we have the the this already done so we can collapse all this stuff if we want it so to look better so that way it's more clean so you want the wanted level so that's it is more clean here so now they supposed to work how we want it okay so right now if we go to play uh, we can see we have the level zero so let's change it to see if it's working or not so the for now like I said they're gonna be only the main part to make the code so we have the main code are uh, really working so if it is working later when uh, you do something wrong you you can call it from that action you do so they want to call this system so right now let's go to do it like something uh, override the stuff so only for testing like I said so let's go content GTA I think they have important yeah they have it here so let's open the character it's only for testing so let's put here any button no, no, any word, any key, sorry. Let's put here, for example, L. So we can use to see if it's working or not. So here we want to call the uh, the HUD because we already have the reference before. So we want to call a wanted system. So now we can call here the level we want. So if I call level one, let's see if it's working. So if I press play I can see we don't have no level wanted by paper L now we have the level one so if we want to test it 
Uh, let's do, for example, lever three. Let's see if it's working or not. Compile, save. Let's go play. So now if we are zero level, we press L, automatically have le level three. So it's working. So now we have the system already working. So that is awesome. So yeah, so now we have the system. Uh, so now we, uh, in the next videos, we want to do something like uh, if we hit somebody or something like that, they want to give you one star, but only if it's close to a uh, uh, police NPC, because if it's not close to NPCs, uh, they don't really have sense to how you, how they know you are doing this back action, you know? So we want to do it that way. If you don't want to do it in that way, you want to do it, uh, even if it's not police, you want to have one star, it's fine. You can do it without the last part of the video, but at least you can have the system is already working. So yeah, so that's going to be it for this video. So now you have the main core of how to work this stuff. So in the next video, we want to add it a little by little how to improve, uh, how to make this start working and also start with the cars because we want to start again driving this car and things like that. So yeah, so that's going to be it for the video. So if you want to support me, you can go to my coffee page and you can donate just one dollar if you want or you can be a member. If you're a member, you're going to have exclusive stuff. For example, see the video before I publish. Uh, you can download the project file from GTA series, the uh, side scroller, inventory system, things like that. Just uh, if you are a subscriber and also you are uh, supporting uh, my game I'm creating right now, a uh, land of silent. Okay, you can download from the Steam uh, as well as for free the demo so you can test it out. So also if you want to talk with me directly, you can go to my Discord page. Um, you can talk with me whatever you want, if like games or whatever, uh, else. Or if you have some question about tutorials or Unreal Engine or the pro uh, project for you not working or the tutorials, you can talk with me in the Discord. For me, it's more easy to respond in the Discord to the comment or YouTube. Like I always said, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. So, bye bye. <laughs>